Hello everyone. This is part five of Tableau scenario based question series for product based company. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without wasting any further time, let's move to the question. First question is how you can embed the URL within a sheet. Now let's understand the question first. Let's say I'm using segment and sales just to create a sheet. Okay. Now go to dashboard and drag our sheet. Okay. So how we can embed a link or a URL of a web page or website on this value. So let's say whenever I click on consumer corporate or home office, it will redirect to me a website or a web page. Okay. So how we can do that for this, we can use our actions use action we can go to action dashboard then action or we can use control plus shift plus d okay and now you can go to add action and then we'll use our go to url okay now i'm renaming it web page okay and there are three options for the run hover whenever you hover on the value select whenever you click on the value menu is whenever you click on it it will it will give you a menu to select the url okay for the url i am giving my youtube channel url okay and as of now i am keeping it select and url target is new tab if no web page exists this means is whenever this web page is not open in our browser it will open a new tab okay and new browser tab is if it is already open it will still open a new tab in the browser okay just click on okay and click on okay so whenever you click on it you can see it will open a web page go to action use our control plus shift plus d select this go to edit and now we'll use our menu option as well okay and then just click on okay whenever you click on it now you can see it is giving us menu and we can click on this web page and it is open okay now if you click on it again it will give you web page and you click on it now you can see this web page is still open but it is again opening a new tab okay this is how it works so this is how you can answer the question first. Now let's move to the question two. Let's say we have a table of regional managers showing sales and profit with grand total. Okay. We need regional managers, sales and profit with grand total. Okay. But user want to show sum of sales and the sum of profit breakdown for regional managers. Okay. But for breakdown, user wants average of sales and average of profit. How we can achieve it? Okay. First, let's add all the fields we need regional manager we need sales and we need profit as well okay and now we need grand total till here we have achieved the requirement but for the grand total user wants average of sales and average of profit how we can achieve it this grand total is showing sum of profit and sum of sales okay so but user wants average of profit and average of sales so how we can do it go to analysis go to totals totals using average okay so this is how you can show average sales and average profit for grand total okay so that means we are achieving average 73000 of profit and 581k of sales okay this is average there can be a multiple question based on that as well so for that let's say how we can show this grand total to the top of that row okay for this let me just create a scenario we are using customer name and we are using let takes the segment okay and i'm taking segment here and also now let's take the sales and i'm showing their grand total okay 
so how we can show the grand total in the first row or the first column now you can see we are getting this grand total at the bottom of this table this is very important from the perspective of the real time dashboard as well because whenever you have a lot of customer name or lot of you can say product and you are showing grand total at the bottom of the table that doesn't make any sense okay so every time the stakeholder or your user wants this grand total to be at the top of the table so how we can do that for this you can go to analysis go to total and then show column total to the top if you move here so now you can see we are showing grand total at the top of the table this makes more sense okay if you rotate it now you can see it makes more sense as well because we don't know like if you are showing this grand grand total column at the bottom of this table that doesn't make any sense now it is making sense okay so this is how you can solve this question that's it for this video thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos